Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we'll talk about how to create a curtain wall system on a flat surface. Now, you may say, well, I'll never need that. Uh, but you may, in the future, you may put a curtain wall system on a slope. One of the things that's interesting is in Revit, we go to the wall tool and under the wall tool, when you drop it down, you'll notice that we have the uh, curtain wall systems toward the bottom. Uh, the interesting thing is we also have them in the roof area. So if I go to architecture and I go to roof, I'm in 3D, that's why it's, it's throwing a fit. Uh, if I drop this down, you'll see we also have slope glazing. Uh, this gives us the ability to put in, let's say, skylights, or if you want to get uh, fancy, if you've ever been to the Bowling Green Corvette Museum, they actually have glass in the floor you can look down into the sinkhole. So that's what we're actually trying to accomplish here. So we're going to go through in this video and show how to put um, pretty much a curtain wall system on a flat surface. Now I'm going to go ahead and get out of this and I'm going to go right to my roof level. Now just so you know I'm using the standard template that comes with Revit. I went uh, file, new, browse and I'm using the commercial template. That's what I'm using here so you know where to find these this bits of information. No smoke and mirrors here. Uh, it's just all uh, straight, out of, uh, straight out of the box. Now go to the roof. First thing I'll do is I'll create the main roof or main floor. It could be either way. So I'll go up top here and if I hit floor, now I'll go floor architectural. If I drop this down, you notice there is nothing in the floor area. So you may have to use a roof element in the floor, but that's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and just cancel out of that. So whatever you use for the first piece, it doesn't matter. Being I'm on the roof, I'm just going to go to roof by footprint. The first one I will use is uh, maybe a basic roof and just keep it simple. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a couple of spots out in space. Uh, now I need to create the hole, so we'll place the hole right here, maybe seven by seven. I hit finish, and Revit creates the roof assembly. If I go to 3D, you'll see there is a, a roof, and there is walls underneath. Now I have this hole in here, and that's what we're going to fill in with our, our curtain wall assembly. Back to the roof level, I'm going to go back up to roof again. This time I'm going to do roof, I'm going to do again roof by footprint, but I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and I'll be using the slope glazing. Now, being I'm using this straight out of Revit, um, the Revit template, it's already set up. Now, if you've used the curtain wall systems in Revit, you'll notice it does have an automatically embedding tool. This does not. So you have to cut the hole. Next thing is, being I'm drawing this one in, none of the mullions are set up yet, which is actually good. It's a clean piece of glass. So what we're going to do is actually create the piece of glass. So at this point, let's go ahead and do that. I go up top, hit rectangle tool. I'm going to pick a point here, and I pick a point here. You can use all the standard tools that you use to create this stuff. Um, at this point, I'm going to hit Finish, and you'll see that Revit has actually put in that piece of glass. I'm going to go to 3D, and you'll see there's a little piece of glass in there. Uh, now, if we want to add the mullions, again, go back to the roof, and I'm going to use the Curtain Grid tool. Now, with the Curtain Grid, Curtain Grid's actually cut the glass. Now, you may not have to do this. You may just want to put it around the outside, but I want to show you that you can add... Um, grid lines in here. I'm going to add some just random. At that point I hit escape once or twice uh, and you'll see that the grid lines are now in here. So now it's time to mullionize uh, or use a mullion tool. Um, the word mullionize is kind of I guess a verb for mullion. Here we go. So mullionize. Uh, all grid lines I select the assembly and you'll see how Revit puts these in. Uh, one of the nice things about this is it's highly adjustable. It's all about the grid line. Hit tab, tab, tab till you get the piece you want and then you can manipulate it. So these elements are adjustable, uh, and now you can see how we created that element. So this is how you go ahead and put a curtain grid system horizontal.